it begins. 18th pick in the NFL draft. The d hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. Dallas still stinks. Yo, my do it, King Ding Bad. Here and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Look at this face. Look at this happy face. Am I not happy today? Because the Eagles held their first practice of training camp. I am so excited that they finally took the field. It has been a very long off season and I am just so glad to get back into football. Um, They said today was about a 73 to 75 minute practice. A lot of red zone work. We're gonna get into it in a second. But first, before we start, um, if you have the Newsbreak app, or if you want the Newsbreak app, uh, click uh, the link in the description and give your boy a follow. I'll have some exclusives over there and stuff like that. So uh, come give me a follow. I really would appreciate it. Now, I want to jump right into the Eagles, right into practice, because there's a ton of stuff that is going on today. A lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, it's, it's going to be crazy. And just to let you guys know also, I will be live uh, probably a few hours after this video uh, is uploaded. But uh, first thing we need to talk about is I want to talk about um, who's, you know, on the injured list, the COVID list, all those kind of things, okay? So the Eagles had three guys that were put on the COVID-19 uh, list, the reserve list. Um, safety Andrew Adams, defensive end Matt Leo, and Alex Singleton, baby arms, all put on, uh, on the COVID reserve list, okay? Okay. Uh, Levon Clark, Rodney McLeod are on the active, physically unable to perform list. Offensive lineman Landon Dickerson is on the active NFL list. So those guys are all designated. Um, nothing too bad. And then as far as practice today, there were some guys that missed practice. Jalen Rager, he missed practice. He had lower body tightness. Now, this is something I worry about. We'll, we'll get into it in a second. Uh, Quez Watkins, he was day-to-day -day in practice, still completing his physical. Isaac Sayamalu, um, he had a hamstring injury. He's week to week, so we're going to have to see how long that thing stretches out. That probably is the one I'm most concerned about because the hamstring can linger on. And then you have Greg Ward, who is day-to-day non-COVID illness, so he should be fine. He should be good to go. Let me put this mother humper down, and let's get into it. Now... Now, today is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And, and of course, you know, the first practice of the year, the way they do things now, it's not like they do two days, they come out and they hit. Uh, they didn't have pads or anything like that, like that, but they did come out. They did work on a lot of red zone offense. There was a lot of red zone offense being worked today. And Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, this connection is natural. I mean, you could tell from their time in Alabama, he feels very comfortable with him. At one point, he ran three straight plays in the red zone where he threw to Jalen, uh, to Devontae Smith. And Devontae Smith, um, couple, I, I think one of them was a bad pass. Um, one of them, he might was broken up. And then you had one that was uh, caught for a touchdown. But obviously, it's very clear that Devontae Smith and Jalen Hurts are very, very comfortable together. Uh, I think this is great news. And also, uh, Zach Ertz was there. Uh, Zach Ertz, he's got blonde hair now. He dyed his hair blonde. He's the blonde bomber, I guess, right? But I was watching on the little stuff that we could see from uh, practice. I was just trying to watch his attitude, watch how he was carrying himself. He seemed fine. Him and Cowie Roseman were talking after practice for a while. Um, of course, and I'll get into this in a later video uh, tonight, but of course, the Eagles really were building Zach Ertz up today. They were really building Zach Ertz, which goes to my theory that they're going to build his trade value up, and then they're going to move him, and that's the plan. So we're going to have to see. Now, uh, this wide receiver spot, uh, this wide receiver battle, rather, is going to be very, very interesting. Who is going to win that outside wide receiver spot opposite Devontae Smith? That's what I want to know. Because I really see Rager 
as a slot guy. Although, you know, he's already missing practices. I hope this is just a one-day thing. This isn't going to be something that we're going to be dealing with um all, you know, all summer long, all, you know, all training camp long. It's very important that Jaden Rager plays and stays healthy because there's already people who are questioning whether he is going to be healthy, whether he can be healthy or not. Uh, we're going to have to see. But the one thing I can say about these wide receivers is I think they're young. I think they're talented. I think they're very, very fast, okay? Uh, Devontae Smith, Rager in the slot, and then we got that battle. Travis Fogum caught some nice balls today to Jalen Hurts. Um, he, he couple nice throws by Jalen Hurts. Fogum nice catches. Uh, Quez Watkins, like I said, he's still going through his physical. He wasn't practicing. Fogum is getting an opportunity. Look, every day that you know somebody isn't practicing in in one of these battles, you got to go out and you got to perform and you got to show up. So Fogum did that today. Uh, my man Quez Watkins got to get on the field because I think. He is going to be my breakout offensive player for the Eagles. Like, I think he's the one guy nobody's talking about that is going to come in, win a job, turn a lot of heads, and everybody is going to like um, is going to like what they see from him. I'm very, very excited, as you can tell, about Quez Watkins. Very excited. Um, but look, this is going to be interesting. You know, the other thing that's interesting, and I'm going to talk a little more about Howie and Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni, my cannoli eating friend. I gotta tell you though, I, I'm gonna talk more about them later because the press conference that they had today is is a whole nother thing into itself. Besides what we saw in the practice field, there's a lot going on and there's a lot to unpack. But I love Nick Sirianni. I love him. I think this guy is gonna be a good coach. I just I can I feel it. I feel it. You know what I mean? But um, he was saying a lot of interesting things. He would not. He would not uh, commit to uh, Jalen Hurts as a starting quarterback. Now, I just think this is them trying to keep the competition going, keep that quarterback room going, make Jalen Hurts feel like he has to go and earn every step of the way. I don't think there's any way in hell that they would ever really give Joe Flacco a real chance to win. However, if they're being honest about competition and every position is open, then let's see. I don't think Flacco could beat out Jalen Hurts. No question about it. It was a very interesting press conference, no doubt about it. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. The defensive side of the ball, there was a lot of there were there was some lineups in three four. They were showing some three four looks today. Uh, they were really rotating and mix matching uh, those uh, defensive linemen. Uh, at one point, I think they had like Sweat, um, Brandon Graham, Hargrave, Coxon together. Uh, you know, Ryan Kerrigan was rotating there. So, I mean, you know, pretty much typical, I guess, what you would get in a first day of practice. You're not going to get, not going to get hitting. You're not going to get things like that. But the guys are out on the field and it begins. It has begun. And I can't wait till the pads come out. That usually takes like a, a while, at least a week or something like that, maybe a couple days to a week. Uh, but that's when, uh, you know, it gets really, really fun. But uh, Jalen Hurts, he looks good. And, and I'm excited about this Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith connection. I think that it's going to be fantastic. And the one concern I do have about the wide receiver position, because I do like all the young wide receivers. But the one thing I do worry about, especially in training camp like this, Who's the veteran presence at wide receiver? Who's the veteran presence that, that, that Devontae Smith can lean on, that Rager can lean on? I mean, I think coaching can help you, but only so far. I think when you have a guy in pads that is lining up next to you that kind of can help you with things, I think it's a big deal. I would not be surprised if the Eagles at some point add some sort of veteran wide receiver who may not make it, but coming to camp could be a good kind of role model, help some of these guys out. That's the one thing that I do worry about when it comes to these wide receivers. No question about it. Uh, as far as everybody else that I saw, I mean, Miles Sanders looks ready to go. He looks fast. He looks good. Carryon Johnson looks good. Even Boston Scott looked good. So it's going to be very, very interesting uh, as we get into some real dog days of practice and things like that, uh, which we will. It was kind of, like I said, a 73-minute, almost like a glorified walkthrough in a lot of ways of uh, some red zone work, things like that. 
But look, it's going to be very, very interesting. And uh, I want to talk more about Nick Sirianni, uh, Howie Roseman, because they had a joint press conference today, which I thought was a little weird. Because why why is Howie showing up? Let the coach go. Let him go. But we'll get into it later. Um, Zach Gertz comes in with the blonde hair, the blonde bomber. What are you going to do? But I think the Eagles are doing exactly what I thought they would do about about, uh, Zach Ertz. I think um, Zach Ertz is going to get moved at some point, but they are going to build him up. And that's what we're seeing right now. So that's kind of what was going on today in practice. Um, I will be back for a live show later. And then I do have a Nick Sirianni video and uh, Howie Roseman video that I have to bring out uh, even after that. But with that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. Training camp has begun, baby. I am so excited. There is a ton going on. I just want to let you guys know I will be live in a little bit. Uh, So come hang out with me there. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a lot to talk about. A lot of stuff that I couldn't even get to because it just keeps coming and coming and coming with the news today. But, you know, I come and I put on I put on the NFL Network and they're talking about Deshaun Watson trade again. This thing will not die. It is unbelievable to me. Uh, but we got a lot to talk about. I will see you guys a little later. Uh, with that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat and more combs. I'm coming for your meats.